myself as well. It is so good to see you guys again. Spooky season is upon us, and next week on a Thursday is Halloween, so that's pretty special. So time for some Halloween themed videos. Tonight is gonna be, as you've probably seen from the title, Am I the A-hole? And this video is filled to the brim with ales, okay? And not just any ales, Halloween ales. I mean, how dare they ruin the holiday spirit, am I right? Anyways, with that being said, and of course, as always, without any further ado, let's, 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 let's. So, the first one is, am I the ill for not wanting to help my wife with Halloween costumes? My wife, 29 female, always makes the kids Halloween costumes. We have three kids, five female, seven male, and nine male. She did not have an amazing childhood. And so I think she is constantly trying to make sure that our kids do. I mean, that is a great thing, that as a parent, you're making sure that your kids have a great childhood. She home makes every birthday cake, DIYs the birthday decorations, makes pajamas for every holiday, and always home makes the Halloween costumes. She also does these theme monthly movie nights where she creates this whole scene that sounds amazing. For example, this month was Coraline. She made custom dolls for each kid, welcome home cake and the whole food spread. That is incredible. I love that idea. I love it. This is all great, but the problem is she expects me to help. How, how dare she, right? All our kids are in activities. We both have full-time careers and I believe she stretches herself thin trying to do all this. And she also expects me to. We have the money to just go out and buy stuff, so I don't get why we have to do so much. She says, these are the things the kids will remember. Honestly, I think she's right. Anyway, this all came to a head as I've been out of town most of the month for work, so she's had to shoulder the full responsibility of the kids. This caused her to be behind on making the costumes and she is stressed out. She was asking me if I would be able to create one of the costumes for her. She has the supplies and she can walk me through the process. The problem is, I just don't feel like it. I mean, that's a pleasant person, isn't it? Wow. Okay, uh, I told her we can go get a cheap costume. It's not a big deal. Well, she refused and was up all night finishing these costumes. I told her this morning that they looked awesome and she just rolled her eyes. She was making coffee and I asked if she'd make me a cup and she said, go buy one. I love this. She's been distant and cold. I was talking to my co-worker and he called me out, saying my wife is right. My kids will remember the effort my wife put in and they'll also remember how hard I made it for her. Now I'm feeling off, like maybe I am an a-hole, but at the same time, I usually do help a bit. I was thinking this one time wouldn't be a big deal, since we were both tired. So, am I the a-hole? Alright, 
So let me get this straight. Your wife goes above and beyond, stretches herself thin because she has a full-time job as well, to create these amazing experiences for their children to remember into adulthood so that they feel like they were really considered and cared for by their parents, right? But then, your wife asks you to do one thing, is to help and make one Halloween costume. She's gonna walk you through the entire process. She's got all the materials, you don't have to run to the store. And the reason for not doing it is, I just don't feel like it. That is an incredibly a holish thing to do. It's incredibly inconsiderate. The Redditor recognizes how much effort his wife puts into this. The Redditor recognizes that she stretches herself thin. The Redditor sees that she is stressed out because she's had to take full responsibility of the kids for an entire month he was out of town for work, and yet, when she asks him to do something, the response is, well, I just don't feel like it. I'm gonna have to say that the Redditor is absolutely an ale, a raging ale in this situation. I mean, is this something that could destroy a marriage? No. But this is absolutely an aeolish and inconsiderate thing to do. And I think the coffee response was absolutely perfect. If the redditor is so insistent on buying everything because they can afford it, go buy yourself a cup of coffee, mate. I'm not making it. Clearly, you have an issue with me making all these things. Go buy yourself a cup of coffee from Starbucks. Fantastic. Expect. 
explaining to his father that I was just kidding, but he yelled at me, accusing me of terrifying his son, and that he would report me to the cops if I ever went near him again. No matter what I said, they would hear nothing of it. Am I the ill? I thought this was funny. 
wants to go to a few parties in clubs that night, and she wants us to go together. She wants to wear a sexy Princess Jasmine costume. Jasmine already wears pretty revealing clothes in the animated movie, but my girlfriend just wants to wear a blue bra and a loose pair of pants that is very transparent and see-through. Not western-style pants, more Middle Eastern-style, but not exactly. Okay. Now, I'm a very big fan of Aladdin, and I played Aladdin in a school play. So I was actually very happy with her initial idea of a jasmine costume, and I was touched, thinking she was doing it for me. I'm not very comfortable with such a revealing and sexy costume, though. Am I the ill for asking her not to wear this costume? She was pretty upset with me, and is dead set on wearing this outfit, whether I agree with it or not. I understand that I have no right to control what she wears, and that it's her body and her choice, but seeing how uncomfortable I am with my girlfriend wearing such revealing clothes, I don't see any other alternative but to ask her not to wear it or not to go with her on Halloween. Even then, if I don't go with her, I'm not sure if I'm okay with her going to many parties and bars on her own, dressed like that, when she has a boyfriend. I know how crazy the college kids are, especially with massive amounts of drinking on Halloween. A lot of her female friends are also planning on wearing revealing outfits, and I guess it's part of the course for Halloween. I genuinely do not want to come across as a controlling, brutish a-hole, and I'm not forcing her to do anything, but I don't like how the whole thing has gone down, so am I the a-hole here? Moving on to the last 
heard in mind, this is not anything official. This is just at your friend's house at a Halloween party, right? To be so whacked up about losing this costume contest, but, but stressing that it's not about the money, it's not about winning, it's just about the fun of the game. To be so upset that you start a fight severe enough to be kicked out of this party is just madness. It is madness. It's incredibly, incredibly childish. Wow. So, needless to say, the Redditor absolutely acted like an a-hole in this situation. Like, I mean, he was a dick about it. That's that. I hope that he grows up a bit and can control his temper in the future because honestly to get kicked out I don't know what he's done and he's clearly not telling us and also I had a few drinks in me is not an excuse I can't under any circumstance imagine reacting like this to anything let alone something silly like this wow Bye.